Hi, I'm JD and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, I'm a little out of practice, so I hope you can bear with me. First off, I want to say a huge thank you to all my subscribers and followers for sticking with me for the past year, even though I haven't been uploading many videos. It has been a rough, rough 12 months, but you know what? I'm here, I'm back for now at least hopefully we'll see i also want to say a huge shout out to all the new subscribers who have joined me over the past year even though my videos have not been posted um yeah so thank you i hope you guys stick around and i We'll hopefully have some more content coming up in the next few months for you guys. First off, I wanted to do a quick little recap of 2021. So 2021 overall was not the greatest, but there were a lot of lessons learned there. Uh, if you saw my last video, you know that in February of 2021, I was diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis and psoriatic arthritis. Um, I have a very difficult time with some of the medications because I am allergic to NSAIDs. I cannot have things like Motrin or ibuprofen. And so that created a whole nother runaround with my insurance. <laughs> um, in the past 11 months, I have tried three different biologics. Uh, I am currently, I have tried Humira, Imbril, and I am currently on Cosyntix. I have been on Cosyntix since the summer, so I think it was June. June, yes. And so finding medications that work, I have had to kind of reevaluate how I approach my life, how I approach exercise, diet, um, writing, and yeah, a lot. A lot has changed over the last few months just from trying to figure everything out, finding the right medications, finding different diets and stuff that are supposedly would help me. While health-wise has not been the best this past year, I have still been able to publish a book. I published the second book of my legacy series, uh, Will of the Witch, and I also wrote over a hundred thousand words. Woo, I'll put it up there. No, wait, that way. There we go. <laughs> I published over a hundred thousand words this year. Or published, I wrote over a hundred thousand words this year. I did not quite make my 150 word goal for, 150,000 word goal for Get Your Words Out, but I got close and with everything else going on, I'm gonna call that a win because it was amazing. In 2021, I also I also participated in NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month, and I won that as well with 50, over 50,000 words. So it was, it has been a productive year. Even though there was some challenges, I was still able to hit some goals. I might not have hit them exactly on point, that's okay. I was still able to continue to write and get things done. So with that said, 2022, here we go. We are a few weeks into 2022 and it is, whew, it's been a doozy. I have, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this year so far. I am not, not all there, I guess, this year. We'll see what happens. There are three areas of my life that I am trying to set goals for the new year. And so the first one is my health. And my health is broken up into like sub goals again. I'm like getting into the nitty gritty. My physical health is like number one, the biggest goal I'm working on right now. And I've got a lot of things going on to try to improve my physical health from keeping up with my medications and following through with my doctor and specialist appointments. I am also trying to lose some weight to help bring my inflammation down as well. Focusing on cutting out items, uh, foods and stuff that trigger my inflammation. There's a lot going on. I'm also, you know, 
you know, trying to work in more movement during the day to try to help strengthen my body and just feel better. I also want to work on my mental health and you know, by doing some journaling, by meditating more and connecting with nature and kind of getting out of the house a little bit more. I also want to do more spiritually and working more with nature and my tarot cards and connecting with other like-minded people in my spiritual pursuits. For writing goals, the biggest writing goal I would like to do is to write and publish my third legacy book. However, that is a huge goal and I don't I don't know if I can complete it through this year completely, you know. I would like to at least get a first draft, maybe a second draft done of book three and then hopefully get it published or at least get on, start on the process of getting it published in time for next year, this time next year maybe. Besides that, my writing goal this year is to work on some sort of writing task at least 240 days out of the year. The 240 days comes from the Get Your Words Out challenge. I am doing the Habit Pledge of 240 days, which I think is journeyman's level. I had done a actual word goal last year and didn't quite make it. And I think if I had done the habit last year, I probably would have made it just fine. Cause I, I had spent about a couple, I think two, three months of pretty much zero word counts every day because I was stuck editing. And so I was editing and deleting words and not writing enough new words basically during that time period. But I was still working on my writing. I'm not too worried about last year's goal. And I think this year will go a little better. However, we're already on the 10th of January and I've only had three writing days. That's been fun. Uh, the last big goal I am working on is my social media. I want to get back into the habit of creating YouTube videos for you guys. And I also want to grow my Instagram account, which is Satula. If you want to come and check me out on Instagram, I like to use my Instagram as a window into my life, basically. It's not a super curated feed. There's no, there's not a bunch of pretty pictures. They're real snapshots from my life and my daily challenges and some fun things and some pretty things and some planner things and also my dogs. <laughs> the last social media I am working with this year is my blog, chroniclynovel.com. And this blog is something I started last year in an attempt to kind of make up for missing YouTube. I miss you guys so much, but I also, I did not have the energy to turn on the camera or put makeup on or even just to talk. <laughs> Half the time I just stared at a TV or slept. <laughs> so I missed having that sort of interaction. And so I built this blog chroniclynovel.com and it has come of a side project for me. I like posting blog posts on challenges that chronically ill writers have with like productivity and writing and everyday challenges that come across our plates. If you're interested, definitely come and check me out at Chronically Novel. And otherwise, that's pretty much it for my goals. It's just trying to get back into the swing of things after the holidays. I had hoped to have a planner lineup ready for you guys, but I just have not settled on a planner yet. I keep jumping back and forth between them. So once I have gotten a system down, and figured out which planners I'm using this year. I will do a planner lineup and walkthrough because I do have multiple planners. It's just a matter of finding which ones are sticking around <laughs> for the rest of the quarter at least. I am so glad to be back. I have missed you guys and I hope you have a great start to the year. I hope you guys are well. I love you. Peace, love, and happy writing y'all.